Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. Just had to send that out real quick. Yep, happy, happy Saturday. I hope that you're all having a fabulous day. I know I am so far. Hello, Jordan. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for that gift. So how is everyone on this beautiful Saturday morning here in Arizona? Still morning, 10 o'clock. It's good to see everybody. I thought I would hop on before um, taking off and doing a few things that I'm going to be, I'm going to be listening to some music today and um, supporting one of my musician friends. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are new here, let me know if you found me on the FYP page. It's always nice to know that TikTok is doing its thing and sending out, you know, uh, on the FYP and notices. I hope those of you who follow me got notified because some of y'all said you are not being notified. So, I don't know what that's about. You know, for those of you that are new, good morning, Just Miz. Uh, for those of you, you should be able to click on my picture. And if you follow me, you should be able to click the bell to get notified. You got notified? Okay, awesome. Awesome. So welcome to all my beautiful regulars. Welcome to all my new people. Thank you. I just, I felt like today was a blue day. Um, not in a bad sense at all, but just. I don't know, the royalty, maybe the royalty of wearing blue. <laughs> oh, you know, it's like no disrespect to the Queen of England. Um, but all of my beautiful followers a while back dubbed me a queen and even sent me a crown. And so queens come in all different fashions and forms. <laughs> I don't have my crown on today. No, no, I'm going to wear my hat. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um did you find me on the FYP if you are new? Oh, excuse me. Let me just say this really quick. I do not contact anyone on here. No, no, no. Let me tell you. I'll tell you all who I am and what I do. But I also want to say first and foremost, this is my one and only TikTok. I will never, ever contact you. That is not how I rock and roll. If you are getting messages from someone that even looks like me and acts like me, that is not me. You watch their followers. Um, you know, it's it's no, no. So guys, be very vigilant about that. Good morning, Zane. Okay. So anyway, yeah, this is my one and only TikTok. I am an evidential psychic uh, medium and... I do bring forth information, details, names, dates, ages, how someone lived, how someone crossed, what's going on on earth right now, details so that you know who it is that is contacting you, okay? Yeah, sorry, that's not me. I'm not sorry. I mean, please be vigilant. It's not about being hacked. There are clones and fakes of all of us people here. Everyone has fake accounts. So just know, be very vigilant. The only way that you can contact me to get a session at all is through my website, okay, or sending me um, a direct message. I see some colleagues popping in this morning. Hello, Rachel. Good morning, all of my colleagues. Please give a wave. And if there is, um, hang on a minute. I was going to ask. Uh, if some of my mods were able to pop in, let me know. If you guys are in, give me a wave to all my beautiful, all my beautiful moderators, please give a wave. All of my beautiful colleagues that are in here, give a wave. Please follow these people. Um, I am one who um, gives support 
to those who are genuine and uh, offer things through their heart. There's Margie right there. So there's some of my colleagues giving a wave. Um, and if I've not met you, please maybe send me, you know, a message of some kind. Because um, most of the colleagues that I am referring, I know and I've met them. But I mean, I'm always meeting new people. Okay. So welcome, welcome. Um, let's see. There was another. You just... Margie, you just walked in. Wow, good timing. Good timing. Um, so please, let me just say this. Please don't come in here with off-the-wall comments, disrespect, rudeness. Hang on just a minute. I just needed to block somebody, y'all. Not in the mood, not in the mood for people to come in here and be slinging shit, okay? <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I haven't even hardly gotten myself fully introduced and I had to block somebody. Every one of you are welcome here in my, thank you. Every one of you are welcome here. Every one of you. However, don't come in here spewing hate, judgment, disrespect, rudeness, of any kind, okay? Um, I was just going to ask, move, Cindy, I'm going to make you a moderator. Hang on a minute. You moderate for Ziggy, and I'm not sure who else you moderate for. Margie, um, Margie helps add people to my mod chat. So, Moody, Cindy, thank you for asking. I do have you listed as a moderator. If you don't want it permanently, you just let me know, okay? But thank you for being here and being a moderator. I know that you're a darn good mo Aunt Samantha and Melissa. Okay. Thank you for offering to be a moderator. Margie can make contact with you. You, If you want to stay as a permanent one, I would love to have that, okay? I'm having a fabulous weekend. I went out yesterday and found a new trail and a beautiful, um, there's Dee Dee, beautiful waterfall. I mean, you know, to me, they look like little falls. Um, and whenever I go out in nature, I always get messages. So everybody, please watch my new videos that I have up, okay? Um, the one I just put up this morning, I've act I had it on my story, but it I got to share this. Most of you know that my favorite color is peach or coral, okay? Peach or coral. Yeah, going out in nature is grounding. Um, when I did that AI thing, and oh, thank you for that. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you for that lovely gift. Um... What was I just talking about? <laughs> I do have I I do have an awesome crew. Absolutely. So what was I just talking about? Somebody sent me a little heart on my cheek and it just I lost my um oh it was the AI that I uploaded and I said, show me my higher self. Oh my god. The coral, the coral. <gasps> Mm -mm. But yeah, I'm going to be going back out in nature. I'm going to go back to the place that I found and I'm going to go further down the stream. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. And you know, I've encountered some people that are digging for gold. It was so cute to watch them. Anyway, it, it used to be a big mining area there. So uh, I'm sure there's probably little bits and pieces floating around. Anyway, welcome, welcome. Um, in just a second, I am going to be clearing the energy in here, um, and I'm going to pull a couple collective cards, and th oh, thank you, Rachel. <laughs> Speaking of the peach, there's the peach. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm really happy to have a moderator to add on here that knows her stuff, so thank you, thank you, thank you, Moody Cindy. Um, Author of children's choose your own adventure books, The Purple Cowboy. I all right. Let me let me talk about this really really quick because I am on my very. Let me mirror the video. I'm on my very first children's book that I'm writing. Very excited about that. It's involving my 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 new grandson. So I'm excited. I'm hoping to get that done by get it out by next year. Okay. 
But anyway, real quick, uh, speaking of author, I authored my first book, Whispers of the White Dove, Inspirational Poetry. White Dove, I feel like I am the White Dove. I've felt that since I was a little kid. So that's my inspirational poetry. The second book I'm proud of that won a five-star award, Heart of the White Dove, I had a temporary journey with cancer. I don't claim it. It was temporary. There's a story about that in here. I was a hospice worker for nine years. There are some stories about that. There are some spiritual stories that I've written. I consider more channeled from the other side. Uh, and a few poems. So anyway, they are on Amazon. And I just want to say, y'all, is there something, is, is there a book you've been putting off? I put it off. Uh, we are, we put it off and put it off. Um, cause I kept thinking, oh, I got all the time in the world. And then the breast cancer hit. You were a cancer nurse for 33 years. Okay. Um, so anyway, uh, so welcome other authors that have popped in. Uh, some of my colleagues are in here. So anyway, I realized when the cancer hit that I better get busy. So y'all, do you have a book? Tomorrow wasn't promised. Okay. Tomorrow wasn't promised. Do you want to start a new business or, or move to another country or whatever it is that you've been putting off? Tomorrow wasn't promised. Um, in If you guys click on my picture and you scroll down, yes, to my, my videos, and I'm proud of all of them. Um, however, um, there is, and all my social media, social media links are there. You can follow me everywhere. All my lives are free. I don't ever charge. Okay, I don't ever charge for any of my lives. That is a way I promised God that I would give back in service. Anyway, if you scroll down to the one that says code purple, code purple, um, code purple is uh, very near and dear to me and my soul. Okay. Uh, Tyler Renee, who's also, you know, been a mental health advocate for many years. She put together 195 countries. If you are uh, having any type of mental health crisis, you need mental health intervention, you need uh, resources, the code purple, if you go to that link and find your country, there is contact information. We don't want anyone to suffer alone or suffer in silence. I'm very proud to be an affiliate of Code Purple. But thank you guys for all the purple hearts. Yes, yes. Okay. Please don't suffer in silence. Okay. Um, all right, so here we go. I'm going to clear the energy. Is there any other announcements? Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, I do have my very own heart rock deck that I have designed. I find heart rocks in nature. I get messages with them. And I uh, decided to take some of those and turn it into a heart rock oracle uh, deck. So that's also available. Anyway, you guys can send me a message to my website. What I want to do, I am temporarily in northern Arizona, okay? I moved from Phoenix to be more rural, to do some more spiritual work, and I became a volunteer park ranger <laughs> at my sacred place. Um, and as I'm clearing the energy, uh, oh yeah, my merch. So as I'm clearing the energy, let me know where you all are from, as well as... You might feel this somewhere in your body, okay? I will talk about my merch. Oh, I added my, my merch link to my link tree. Ziggy Booten has my merch. He's in charge of that. All right, so tell me where you're from. And if you feel this somewhere in the body, tell me. You don't have to feel anything. Some people do. So if you are new, welcome. If you are my regular beautiful followers, welcome. If you found me on the FYP, let me know, okay? Here we go.
people from everywhere. You're feeling it lots of different places. Everyone's got their own, you know, and maybe that's an area where you needed some energy cleared. I always feel it in my heart. So that's how I feel it is with, I think that there needs to be a little bit of energy movement there and that's why you feel it. Just, that's my opinion. Thank you. I decided to keep wearing my purple glasses. I have some other ones that I've been buying, but right now I'm still connected to this purple. I haven't changed the backdrop yet, but I'm probably going to do it this week. And I do like to change it up, but look at this. Is that beautiful? I love trees. I love trees. Thank you guys for the gifts. All of my lives, for those of you, hello, Pooji Mommy. Uh, Moody Cindy is one of our new mods. I'm so appreciative of her. Um, so um, I want to welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. In just a moment, I am going to pull two collective cards. I'm fabulous. Thank you for asking. Um, all right. So <clears throat> I have merch. Ziggy Booten asked if he could put my mug on a mug. <laughs> he want, There's my little crown, y'all. Uh, he wanted to put my mug on a mug, and I said, nobody wants my mug on a mug, and he's like, yes, they do. So there are coffee mugs. Here's a bigger mug. There's There I am wearing my crown with the word queen. Um, we have t-shirts. Here's the newest t-shirt I'm so proud of, and I want to thank Margie and Ziggy for this design. Here we go. Let me do this so you guys can see it. I love to say, feel it to heal it. Feel it to heal it. One of my little sayings. And so we have a new t-shirt. There's lots of different colors you can pick from. Uh, PamSears.com is on the back. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello, Felicia. So anyway, feel it to heal. It's a new one. I love the lavender. Just came in the mail. Okay. There's lots of t-shirts. No spammy the pammy. You can't make this shit up. Um, that feel it to heal. It is also on a coffee mug. Okay. Just so y'all know. All right. I'm going to pull two collective cards. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, yeah. Since I love trees. Soul Trees Oracle Cards by Allison Williams Yee. She is on Etsy. She is an artist that has the Oracle Cards with trees. Uh, so I'm going to pull one card from that. And I'm going to pull another card from my very own Heart Rock deck. And thank you guys for going and watching my new videos. Um, it was interesting when the video that I posted yesterday, last night, uh, that new little creek that I found, there I got lots of messages when I was out there. Um, and I'll post some more, but there was one that I got and I just I just posted it yesterday. A reminder, a reminder of those who work with the light and our healers and lighthouses and things the darkness needs us now more than ever okay so i did a video last night i just uploaded my beautiful ai video asking my higher self to show me and what amazed me is it came out to be my favorite color coral I was like, OMG. All right, so let me let me shuffle my deck, okay? I'm going to pull one card. If these cards don't resonate with y'all, don't you don't have to take them, okay? Here we go. I don't answer personal questions. Um, I don't uh, reading in here to anyone that's asking. My sessions are all, um, my sessions are all spirit guided. All they come from spirit. I do my prayers to God before I come on. Okay, so don't ask me if it's my oracle cards. You can send me a message to my website saying you're interested in my cards. The other one, she's got four decks. Uh, Allison Williams, ye, she is on at Etsy. She also is on Instagram and she has her own website, but I order mine on Etsy. 
Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Here we go. All right, there's one card. Let's see. Let me see what the other card is. Um, also, when I'm done with this, I will tune in and see if we have a loved one that's trying to come through from the other side, okay? Um, and then after that, I'm, a, I'm going to pull more cards by age groups. There will be an 18 to 30, 31 to 50, 51 to 70, and 71 all the way up, okay? So y'all, don't, don't, oh, look at the pancakes. Thank you for that. I do say thank you for the gifts. They are not necessary. All my lives are free. I will always have my lives free. Okay, here we go. Here's the second card. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, new project. New project. This is a collective for all of us. Okay, it says you are being nudged to create something new. Before I get to the second card, let me, a word of caution. <laughs> we are in Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is the planet of communication. When it goes retrograde, things go crazy. We are in retrograde until October 1st. So, New projects should be, you sh you can start conjuring and thinking about and planning a new project. It might be a good idea not to quite instigate and start it publicly until after Mercury goes retrograde. I'm just going to share that, okay? But as a collective, we are all being um guided so it says you are being nudged to create something new so like i'll start something i'll go well it's mercury retrograde i'm gonna plan it but i'm not gonna instigate it till it goes direct october 1st just gonna say that okay disclosure <laughs> all right Ooh, you are being nudged to create a new project and allow our psychic knowing to step in Guys, I don't need your name and ages, please. I don't pull cards by age groups. I mean, by individuals. Later on, everyone will get a uh, will be grouped together, and I will pull collective cards. But please, you can hold that, okay? And psychic knowing, whatever this, I I gave a a, a session uh, to a client yesterday, and you know she all of a sudden had this light bulb idea go off on her head she goes I don't know where that came from that's our psychic knowing our spiritual team can you guys hear those locusts outside my gosh they're loud as could be and they're that big so anyway when we get these ideas it's like oh my gosh I think I want to do that trust psychic knowing and we're all born psychic knowing we all have it we all have it. I am not saying that everyone's going to go and develop that and do mediumship work or become a psychic reader type of thing. But we're all born psychically knowing. So that is our collective cards. That's pretty cool. And I just to remember, when you get that idea, it's your psychic knowing that's putting that in there. Okay? Okay, so um, what happens here, we have 280 people in here, okay? Um, I tune in and I see if there is a loved one um, coming through. Um, I think I already am. And what happens is I will tune in and I will... Uh, Somebody's already talking to me. Just a second. I will tune in. I will write down everything that this person is giving me. Okay? It's very important in here that you must resonate with 100% of what I'm saying. Uh, so, guys, please, I'm just going to ask you real quick because this is important to start thinking about this. Please don't answer, ask me personal questions. Please don't give me names and ages. 
I am tuning in. I'm going to see if we have a loved one. When you guys comment those things, it just slows up the feed. Okay, so uh, Oki Bear, welcome, welcome, Oki. Moderators, all my beautiful moderators giveaway, please follow those beautiful moderators. If my colleagues are still in here, please follow the colleagues, give a wave, okay? Okay, uh, if you can take 100% of what this loved one has given me, you have to tell me how it resonates. Please don't just sit there and say, I can take it all. That doesn't work in here, okay? That doesn't work in here. It has to be, you have to tell me, this is how I resonate and why. Boom, boom, boom. Just saying, okay? 99.9% .9 of you are going to receive what I call beautiful postcards from a loved one. So a beautiful postcard would be, I'm not directly connecting you to your loved one on the other side. However, many of your loved ones will pop in to the energy, give a quick flyby message, and then head out. It's a flyby. It's a postcard. Stacy Bennett, my beautiful friend, I love you. Stacy, make sure you also give away Cody Stacy the Pancakes. That's her nickname for me. Cody, hearing heaven. It's popped in. I adore Cody. I love going into his lives. He's very, very kind and caring. Please follow him. All of my beautiful colleagues, Stacy, Cody, everyone else, give a wave. I love you back. So there's a howdy right there from hearing heaven. Follow all these beautiful people, okay? Um, so you guys, I don't answer personal questions. I do have a loved one that is um, trying to come yeah, yeah, back. They're like, I'm trying to say something here. So, and it's going to be very important that you all, yeah, Cody is awesome. I agree. Um, you have to start slowing down the comments. Okay, so welcome to all the new people. I'm going to get quiet. I'm going to tune in. I'm going, okay, thank you. <laughs> I haven't even had a chance to get quiet. And she, it's a she, it is a she. Um, chaos I'm trying to give my trying to tell you guys what I'm trying to do and she's already like yeah but I got things to say um okay <laughs> oh she's she's sassy she's very very sassy yeah yeah okay um hang on I have to laugh because this lady is on my butt. Like, hello. Okay. So as of right now, we have 348. And thank you guys for watching my new videos. I, I love to create. And I know most of those videos are channeled from my peeps. Okay. Um, and y'all do not, first of all, do not comment until I'm totally done giving all the details. All of them. You guys start commenting, and I was like, no, do not answer. Oh, I can take that name. I can take, no, you got to comment. If you can take 100%, then resonate. If you can only take a few things, that's beautiful postcards. Please hold the comments. That's not going to be helpful. Hello, Deanna. Deanna has popped in. All right, here we go. Whew. I will be right back. While you're waiting, um, if you... You know, tap this if you want to tap the screen, if you want to share out the live, if you feel like you want to follow me. Um, mods, do I have anything else? My mods are going to help me. As I'm doing this, it is time to start slowing down the chat and holding your comments. I will let the comments get back once I'm done. <laughs> this woman is like this. Okay. Let me finish what else she has to say. I 
thought it was school, but it's a Saturday. Oh, they're doing they're doing baseball games out there. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Thank you guys for holding your comments. Here we go. Uh, one, it's a reminder. Do not comment. Everyone hold your comments, please, and thank you. I'm going to get, there's a lot of details here. I got to give all these details out. And it's going to be tough. You got to take it all 100%. Please do not comment. Please do not comment until I'm done. And only if you can take 100%. Okay, we have 400 and some in here, and it can get hectic. So as of right now, please, everyone, I respectfully ask. Oh, some, she's already getting on my case here. Okay, and my mods don't want to mute, but they will start muting if things are not followed, because we just need to slow down the chat. So don't take it personal. If you get muted, because I'm asking you guys to please stop, um... We need to find out who this belongs to, okay? And if it was your loved one, you would want everyone. All right, this is an older woman. For some reason, I don't know if she was in her 70s, but she's kind of acting like she might have been in her 70s, but she was older. I'm just going to say this. Large busted woman, okay? Very bossy. Very, very bossy. Uh, yes, okay, she's showing me her lungs. So there was something in this area, okay? There's a heaviness up here for me breathing. Um, she was bossy. She had a very loud laugh. Very loud laugh. She's showing me scarves. So I think she wore a lot of scarves. Uh, very classy. Classy, prim and proper lady. Uh, then she showed me a charm bracelet. Something dangling from here. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. There's a B-A-R name. I... I Sometimes you guys got to understand, and I'm being open about this. Sometimes I hear full names, and sometimes I do not, okay? It's a B-A-R name. Could be Barbara, Barney, uh, but I did hear Henry, okay? And then I heard Taylor. Um, there is a C name, and then I saw a B-O name. Could be Bobby, could be Bonnie. Um, okay, she has given me, she said, three kids, two sisters. Now, she could have been one of three, you might be one of three, she might have two sisters, or be one of two, you might be three kids, two sisters. Oh, thank you. Don't forget the harp, she said, she's showing me a harp. Okay, I don't know if she played the harp, a harp could be some kind of religious symbol, okay. Um, an ironing board, which is kind of funny. So that means she keeps saying the words crisp and clean, crisp and clean. So by showing me the ironing board, I think she ironed everything. And then I was given the number nine. I was given the month of August. Now, nine could also be September. August could also be the number eight. I saw the number 11, which could also be November or January 1st. And then 33, 33, uh, it could be March 3rd. That's a lot of details. Whew, that's a lot of details. So, now, I'm going to say the details again. And my mods do their best to try to repeat. My mods and I are going to find out who this belongs to. Let me share something really, really quick. Thank you, Tess, for the heart. Um, the majority of my lives, I do piggybacking. Now, piggybacking means more than one person can take every detail, 100%. You know what that means? That means the universe is bringing forth um, separate spirits who passed identical, and they, they didn't know each other, but these two people here have their loved ones coming through, okay? Okay. I love, it means more than one person gets a session. But anyway, whew, uh, all right. So guys, do not comment 
first of all, don't comment, oh, I can take it all. That doesn't work. You got to tell me and my mods how it resonates. Do not comment one or two things. For those of you that are new popping in, if you can take a few of these things, but not all of them, I am not directly connecting you to your loved one, but um, many of your loved ones are popping into the energy and giving flyby messages, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mama Angela, p and you got to give us more, okay? Hang on, hang on a minute. Uh, Roger, can you give us more? Thank you, Tess. This is the hard part. If you guys could be patient, this is the hard part. I'm trying to figure out who this belongs to. Please be patient holding your comments. Um, see, there's a lot of postcards that I'm seeing, okay? I feel like, yeah, I type as much as you can so that we know, okay? She passed with lung and heart issues, stayed in because of breathing. What else, Roger? Thank you. Keep going, Roger. I'm going to write you down as a question mark. Okay. Because, um, Roger, you've taken a lot, but I want to make sure you've taken everything else. And mods, can you keep an eye on Roger? Um, Taylor was the last name of her best friend and our family, September, February, my birthday, November, P and W keep talking. You are a possibility. Okay. A lot of details. Okay. I gave it twice and I want to finish giving. Thank you guys for the likes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing out the lives. Thank you for going and watching my new videos. I love creating content. Okay, Roger, I feel strongly that this might be for you. So let's just see. Very clean and feisty. She didn't wear scarves. She would play with her dogs with them. Okay. Oh my God, that is so funny, Roger, about the scarves. And make sure that you guys are 18 or over in here, okay? I feel strongly, Roger, that this is for you. Um, did you claim everything? All the names, the B-A-R, the Henry, the Taylor, the C name, the B-O name. I just want to make sure. Yeah, Roger is very, very strong here. I feel very much so that this is for Roger, okay? I want to know for the moment, uh, my daughter's birthday, August, she would wrap her hair in her scarves. Henry was her dad. Ah, okay. All right, thank you. For for now, Roger and PNW. Ro this, we have a piggyback, y'all. We have a piggyback. Roger and PNW, please give me consent. As you all know, I'm asking, Bobby was a mother-in-law. Awesome. Okay. Um, I ask for consent by from these two people because it's ethical to ask for consent. Not everybody in here wants to get a message. And not, you know, I need to know that you're consenting and that you're okay with receiving the rest of this message. Okay. So Roger and PNW. Okay. Thank you, Roger. PNW. Okay, so mods, is there anyone else I want to, uh, don't give me consent unless you're Roger or PNW. Those are the two that I'm talking to right now. Did I, did anyone see PNW? Hello, Ryan. Consent. Okay. Thank you. Both of you have consented. Both of you, please talk to me in all caps, okay? All caps. Um, everyone else, um, there. if people don't stop commenting, I, yeah, I miss some people, but if you feel that these are beautiful postcards, just hold your comments, sit back, 
just say thank you to your loved one for bringing forth information and giving you messages, okay? Thank you, mods. Okay, now, um, what is this loud laugh? Oh my God, I can almost hear it right here. It's almost like a big belly laugh that a man would do. Do you understand that? And if for some reason y'all think that you were bypassed because we can't see you, uh, you know, I'm sorry, just, just, we don't mean to ignore anyone, but you're getting beautiful postcards. Just listen up. Um, and I'm going to do my best. I'm still working on the last live to download and upload to YouTube. This one, I will do the same thing. Okay? All right. So, that loud, loud laugh. Do you understand that? Also, besides the loud laugh, and this is Roger and PNW. Yes, she was short and would laugh so hard. Thank you, Roger. Um, what is, I am seeing rose bushes, rose bushes. Now that might be that she had rose bushes or there's somebody named Rose in the family. So, um, what, what is the rose bushes? And there's more than one rose bush. So maybe there was more than one rose bush. Uh, and guys, don't comment unless you are Roger or PNW. Oh my God, she taught me how to trim her roses. I got to do this once during a live. You can't make this shit up. Have to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Roger, can you connect to the roses, the rose bush? Um, there are two of you here. From now on, you may get your own private message, but these other ones, you it's amazing to me how you guys took every one of these and you're piggybacking. Both of you have your own individual. Um, there was a, an incredible a long line of roses every spring and fall. I had to trim all of them. Okay, there was like, okay, let me see what she's showing me. There was like a breakup of the family when she passed. Do you understand that? Like some struggle, a breakup, some parting of the ways. Do you understand this, Roger or PNW? A breakup, like the a breaking apart of a family. Um, I don't know exactly what that was, but do you understand that message, Roger and PNW? She was like the boss. She was the matriarch. She was the boss. And then all of a sudden, when she passed, there was this, her son was incarcerated and couldn't be there. Okay. Yes, none of us are close anymore. She was the glue. Okay. That's what she's coming through to say. Okay. Ooh, let me see what she's showing me. Um, it, lo it looks like cotton fields. I don't know some kind of open fields and it looks white so to me it looks did she live out near the cotton fields was she living out rural where there was a bunch of fields and she's doing this like way out i don't know if it's cotton fields excuse me i had to block somebody don't spew your hate in my room. That's not love. That's hate. Okay, so Roger, P-N-W. Yeah, y'all, even if you're skeptical, you're welcome. Just, you don't know. It's okay. Did she live out rural somewhere? She grew up in the South and talked about working in the fields when she was a kid. P-N-W. Thank you for that validation. Oh, my God. See, it doesn't mean that both of you now have to take every single one of these messages, okay? I did block that person in love, just so you know, okay? They got blocked, but I still send them love. Okay, so. Okay. She's showing me somebody digging in the dirt. <laughs> Did somebody recently plant a, a garden, plant something, a vegetable garden, flower garden? She's, she's showing me digging in the dirt. Do you understand why she would be doing that? Is there something that somebody just planted? 
Or was she the one that was always out digging in dirt and gardening? It's like in the dirt, in the dirt, in the dirt. Do you understand that? Now that could be somebody on earth or it could be connected to her. Okay. Thank you guys for holding your comments. My mods don't want to mute, but they will so that we can slow down the chat. I don't want to miss any comments from Roger or PNW. <sighs> Just waiting. Roger, PNW. I'm going to go carry on with this. Uh... Me and my son just talked about digging up her old yard. She buried her money. <laughs> oh, my God. PNW, you cannot make this shit up. <laughs> oh, my God. That is hilarious. <laughs> oh, no wonder she's got me laughing. Oh, my gosh. It was a big deal that the boys covered her with dirt at the funeral. Okay. There you go. Both of you that went to <laughs> Okay. Um, oh, here's a here's a very peaceful, special message. Okay. I'm a little choked up on it. Um, I'm going to repeat exactly what she's telling me in your life right now. Hold on to hope. Hold on to hope. Whatever's going on right now, hold on to that hope. I'm choked up, and she's choked. I mean, she's not really choked up, but I mean, I'm getting this energy. She's like, it's like almost picking up maybe what's going on in your life. Uh, this could be for somebody in the family that needs this message. If it's not for you, she's saying, hold on, hold on to hope. Okay. Her son, my husband is in prison. We're waiting on parole. Okay. She knows I needed that. She wouldn't understand what I'm going through. Okay. You know, she's doing this with the waves. Water, you know, like the waves, the waves. And then she's doing this. So whatever the waves are right now, they're going to calm down. Do you understand that? I love it how she's giving me this description of how things are going to be fine, okay? Hold on to hope, okay? Here's an, yes, thank you, Roger. Um, gosh, let's pray that there's no technical issues that I can upload this in the next couple of days to my YouTube. Okay, and don't block your heart. Don't block your heart. Thank you, Kelly. Guys, I don't mean to ignore gifts that you might have sent. I say thank you to each and every one of you. I'm just wanting to get through with this message. Don't block your heart is the other message. Okay, wow. I wonder, what is the heart? Was she a very religious woman? Because I'm telling you... Yeah, my mods got this under control. Thank you. My mods are muting. Okay. Yeah, guys. Everybody just take a deep breath and chill. I'm almost done with this message. I'm, this is a really neat message. Okay. You have Christ with you. You have Christ with you. For the new ones that just popped in, thank you for holding your comments. I'm going to finish this message. Interesting. You have Christ within you. Not in the formal way, but very faithful and in her own. Okay, you have Christ with you. I talk to Christ all the time. This is really important for you to understand. You have Christ with you. Oh my God. Okay. There you go. Okay. Let me see if she's got anything else that she wants to say. I love this lady. I, I love all of them. But man, she came knocking on my door before I even had a chance to say, I'm going to tune in. She had already tuned in. <laughs> okay.
okay, this is kind of cute. I don't know if she used to do like a, a queen wave or something like that. She is backing away. Thank you, guys. She's backing away and has gone quiet and she's doing this with her hands. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Who knows? Maybe she met the queen. Who knows? But anyway, she's doing this. Like, I don't know. There would be some kind of joke maybe in the family. Maybe she did this kind of a wave. I don't know. But that's her final message. That would be funny if you guys could tell me why she's waving like that. Uh, it, it was obvious, you know, and with the head, you know. <laughs> anyway, woo! Roger and P&W, I want to thank you for coming in and showing up. I don't know if this was your first time in my live Thank you all comments. You guys can go back to commenting now. She was very sassy and would say, glad you got to see me. Okay, that's probably what she was doing that part. Whew. For those of you who were respectful, thank you for being respectful and holding your comments. You can see the importance of why uh, you're so welcome. I will do my very best to, um, I'm still working on the last live. I'm having struggles. Sometimes it takes two or three days to download it to my phone and then upload it to my YouTube. But for those of you who pay attention, I will do my best. Okay. Okay. No, don't, no. Somebody said somebody's haunting you from another. No, no, nobody's haunting you. No, no. That, there are people that try, you know, let me tell you something. Um, mediums are, are, are our goal and purpose is to bring you comfort, not to stir any pot and say, oh my God, you got this, this bad. No, we are to bring you comfort. If somebody leaves you in a worse situation than you were, no, not okay. Not. I'm not saying that they don't come through and maybe give us a few lessons or, or things to focus on, but for to come through and say, oh my God, something bad is going to happen to you or, you know, and if somebody comes along and says, oh my God, you have an attachment, bullshit, okay? Um, so y'all, we are to bring peace, healing, and comfort. Okay. All right. Now what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to get a squig of my coffee. <laughs> I am blessed, blessed and thankful. And please don't come in being a smart ass. Okay. This is about bringing comfort to people and to come in and be a smart ass. You know, gosh, <sighs> keep your heart open. Keep your heart open. Um, I'm going to pull cards by age groups right now. Okay? Thank you guys for the gift. Thank you for following me. Um, and thank you for the likes. My goodness, 52,000 likes. I do love what I do. For those of you that are new in here that maybe came in while I was doing this, all my lives are free. I don't ever charge. This is something I promised God that I would give back in service. Okay? Um, and I made a promise. Uh, thank you. It's Jack Tess. Thank you guys. Um, so I made a promise to God that I would give back. Okay. Uh, yeah, don't bring, yeah, you guys don't make the spicy pan come out. <laughs> All right. And let me just say, I, I had a client one time and I, when I was a massage therapist before I retired from that. And I had a client that came in and she was talking about something at work and she goes, that was so ugly. That person was so ugly. And she goes, and you know what? God don't like ugly. <laughs> God don't like ugly. All right. I'm gonna, gosh, I can't seem to stop using this new deck. The Dreamer's Journey, another one. Okay, another one by Allison Williams Yee. Looks like I have wings. Oh, look at that. Who would have thought? Look at that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Um, from the, the beings that I have encountered and seen, they don't have wings. 
angels look totally different than what we think that they look like. But anyway, look at that. That's kind of pretty. I do look like I have wings. Look at that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Thank you guys for being patient. Please go watch. That's right, you can't make this shit up. Um, I am going to, um, this afternoon, I have a musician friend that's playing at a vineyard outside. And I promised him that I would go support him. So this afternoon, I'm going to listen to music outside. I don't drink, uh, but they have lovely water there. <laughs> So I'm going to go and support him. Um, he's at a festival also downtown here with parades. I don't do crowds of a lot of people right now, especially during retrograde. No, 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 no. I stay away. I kind of spend a lot of time to myself. Uh, but at the vineyard, there's plenty of beautiful outdoor seating. I can just sit off by myself. Thank you. This is my new one. My rotocrosite necklace. Okay, y'all, if you are 18 to 30, this is your card. And you guys, if you, one of the beautiful energy exchange is if you uh, like one, of, you know, click like if there's a particular video that you like or send a comment or save it or share it out or even duet it. To me, those are beautiful energy exchanges, okay? Yeah, Mercury Retrograde got me on full-on recluse. That's why I'm out and about. Tomorrow, I'm going back out to the place that I found. I cannot wait. I, those of you that follow me on Instagram, I put some pictures on Instagram, okay? And one of my new videos is from there yesterday. Okay, so 18 to 30. If this is not your age group, but you resonate with a card, take it. Who am I to say it doesn't belong to you? Okay. All right. Ooh, this age group, you are overwhelmed. Who you are overwhelmed. Inner turmoil, stress, nurture your energy. Okay. Nurture your energy. You're under a lot of stress and you're overwhelmed. And of course, here we are. It is Mercury retrograde until October 1st. Things can be, and I do have some Mercury retrograde videos, okay? So anyway, for those of you that are new popping in, I don't do personal uh, uh, questions here. If you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, you can click on my picture, scroll down to my link tree, and all my links are there, including my merchandise. I just added that link. So anyway, so you're overwhelmed. You have this inner turmoil and this stress find ways to go and deal with that and nurture your energy. Take a step back. If you have to take a break from people, take a break from people. Okay. Thank you guys for following me. I love it when I get new followers and thank you guys for sharing out the live and thank you for tapping the screen. Okay. 31 to 50. I love y'all. I love y'all and I love sharing and I love bringing forth messages so that now for those of you who were in here and you watched that interaction with two loved ones that came through it's still a beautiful witness you witnessed someone else's loved one come through and, you, and it's a validation that we carry on death is not death don't give me your don't give me your ages i got it covered okay 31 to 50 don't give me your ages i got it covered all right Veil, veil, there's an unseen layer, there is a facade, you might need to change your realm of perception on something, the veil, guys, I don't need your ages, I'm, I'm covered here, I, I got you all in a group, the veil, now this may be uh, a person that maybe it has a facade, and maybe uh, the way you perceive them, you need to know, is that real or is that an illusion? Is that an idea? Car Move the veil back. Is that an idea that is not serving you? Is that not real? Is it a facade? And what is the real? Okay. That's right. Consider what is behind the curtain when you move that veil back. Could be a person. Could be an idea, a thought. Okay. Okay. Boy, the wind is picking up today. 51 to 70. 
51 to 70. Here we go. My age group. <laughs> and as you can see, I put the decks down and then I draw. I don't look. The wise woman. Ooh, no wonder I'm wearing blue. Look. The wise woman. Here we go. Deep wisdom and intuitive insights. Mystery, the inner realm. The inner realm. Thank you. I love my rotocrosite. I'll share a story about that as soon as I'm done here. The wise woman, deep wisdom and intuitive insights. Mystery, the inner realm. I claim it. I claim it. I claim it. Okay, 71 all the way up. 71. Um, the oldest living person on earth right now is Sister Andre. Sister Andre. She's 118 years old. Um, and we know that she's made it to 118 because she's been single her whole life. <laughs> I said what I said. Okay. I said what I said. All right. 71 all the way up to Sister Andre. Inner calling, inner calling, an internal shift, awakening to a greater sense of purpose. This age group, you know, I swear that I pulled this card before for this age group. I know, I can, I remember. This is another reminder. It's like a new life, starting something new, new beginnings for you. 71 all the way up. You could be 90 years old. And there's an inner calling, an awakening to a greater sense of purpose. It doesn't matter what age, okay? But I mean, for this age group, you can say, oh, I'm too old for that. No, you're not. No, you're not. So that is for all the age groups. Okay, in just a moment, I will be pulling a final collective card before I say, you know, so long for the day. Follow me. Um, you have to request to follow me on Instagram because of all the fakes, I went private. So it takes a while for me to approve because I want to make sure that there's, you know, you're not those kind of people. So my Instagram, my YouTube, my Facebook, and of course here on TikTok, they're all in my link tree, all of that. Okay. So I have two, this video and the one that I had two days ago, I'm still trying to upload that one. I will do my best, get these uploaded, and so you can go back and rewatch it, okay? Um, if Jesus is in your dream, that's awesome. Awesome. He's just letting you know he's very strong with you. Um, I will say this openly to everyone. He's come to me in some visions. Mm -hmm. I have a very strong relationship with Jesus. Now, let me share. Um, so, guys, follow me, follow me, follow me. Um, I will be going live on my Instagram tomorrow afternoon, okay, after I'm back. Thank you, lady, you guys. Thank you for the gifts. They are not necessary, but I'm saying thank you. So this Roto Crocite pendant, let me share a story, very important, okay? You saw Jesus walking with your son. Oh, goosebumps. Jesus. I always like to say, what would Jesus say? What would love do? Because Jesus is all about love. All about love, not judgment. Certainly not hate. Not going in and telling someone how to live their life. Jesus is about love. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus say? Okay, what would love do? All right, so as a massage therapist, I was working with uh, some... Um, psychologist with uh, women who uh, had been severely SA traumatized, okay, um, they would send them to me, I would um, do the massage work that would bring up from the touch, it would bring up their emotions, they would go immediately to her for therapy, okay, so I had a woman who had been severely, severely abused, as a, I, the story was just horrendous, um, and I have my own trauma uh, of my own childhood, okay? And so, and part of what was helping me to heal from that trauma was 
the rhodochrosite. The rhodochrosite helps in healing that essay trauma. Okay, so I had a beautiful piece of rhodochrosite that I always carried with me. And most of the time I would put it in my blouse, tuck it in. I knew that this woman was coming. I knew her backstory. And uh, I sat there washing up, getting, you know, ready. And this stone came out of the blouse and landed on the floor. And I thought to myself, hmm, why did that happen? And then the voice was very clear, give that stone to her, give that to her. And I thought to myself, it's mine, it's my precious. It's something that I always carry with me. It's mine, it's mine. And, and the word Daniel John Medium, happy birthday to Daniel John Medium. Everyone say happy birthday. Let me finish this story. God said, give that stone to this woman. And I said, I'll do it, but you know it's been helping me with my own SA healing. So I, I listened to God, and I gave her that stone. And shortly thereafter, I found a bigger, better, pretty, I mean, whatever. It's a bigger, it was a bigger stone that was gifted to me because I listened to God and gave her that stone. And gave her that stone. As much as it pained me to have to give it away as a gift... I knew God had a reason for me to give that to her, okay? So Daniel comes in right when I'm sharing a, a story about, you know, God. And for those of you, uh, Daniel has not been in for a while. He's been a pretty busy person. Um, Daniel John's second book is coming out very, very soon. Hey, Daniel, I don't know what you're doing. Um, if you have a minute, do you want to pop on and talk a little bit about your new book? I know it's your birthday. I know you're busy, but let me know. Um Send me a request. Hang on a minute. There we go. Everyone, for those of you who do not know, this is Daniel John. Click the video so we can see what you look like, you birthday boy. You don't want to see me. Yes, there we go. Hey, everybody, happy birthday to Daniel John. He and I, we bonded a oh, I don't know, two or three years back or something. And we've just been staying connected. And with him having, are you 44 today? 43. 43, okay. So we met, we talked. He's an author, I'm an author. He's a medium, I'm a medium. But what I love about what Daniel John does is that he incorporates the Bible and Jesus, okay? Fascinating fascinating how he knows his stuff so daniel talk a little bit about you can talk about your first one if you want and then kind of talk about the second one because it's coming out any day now yeah i don't want to you know ruin your your life but oh, no. um, we did it all we did it all it's all yeah uh so yeah the first my first book is called why are we here it's about um living your best life finding your purpose, loving others, forgiveness. And I talk about how I discovered my purpose to help other people so I can help you discover like yours. Um, and then like living your life based in love. And that's kind of that simple. And then uh, the second book is, the title's not out yet, but the subtitle I'll tell you is uh, Navigating Grief and Understanding Mediumship. Because I've witnessed, just like you have, thousands of times where people come to a session and they leave with more faith. They leave with more spark of life. They leave with better feelings about themselves. And I've watched mm -hmm. it thousands of times. So, you know, uh, in this book, I talk about how maybe visiting a medium or connecting with your loved ones yourself is something that will help you navigate through your grief. And that's what the second book is about. I mean, I can't wait. I mean, I'm, I'm going to want a signed copy. So you know, I'm right, whatever. You're going to write all those beautiful little words. And I, right before you came on, I was just talking about um, one lady said that she saw um, her son walking with Jesus. And it was just like right around that time when I was saying, I always like to say, what would Jesus do? What would Jesus say? Yeah. Jesus is about yeah. love. Jesus is all yeah. about love. Yeah, you to to and so, hi, guys. Hi. Hi. How are you, Stella? 
Mm. What's today? What have I been telling you all day? It's, it's your birthday. <laughs> Is she wearing blue? Yes. We're oh, yeah. twins. Oh you're my just, god. Just like, yeah. uh, <clears throat> and also, someone said, "What does it mean to dream about Jesus?" And I'm like, "God, I love." dreaming about Jesus and Jesus is a part of all of us you know and Jesus like Daniel would say Jesus is not about religion Jesus is about love does Dan yeah. ever talk about Jesus? so no I yeah. never talk about Jesus ever <laughs> oh my god really so tell us Daniel what what are and we I just had a beautiful session for two people and it was just beautiful <clears throat> The piggy, you know how piggybacks go. They're just, you know, the lovely piggybacks. Um, and so you came in just after. Well, well, guys, do you remember what was the 31 to 50 card mods? Since I think Daniel came in after I pulled the cards. What was the 31 to 50 card? Do you remember? They'll, t they'll remember. Um, <clears throat> so what are you going to do for your birthday? Well, funny thing happened uh this morning uh i just hung out with the kids for a couple hours and then we went to sammy's baseball game um and then i was supposed to work at 2 30 until 11 but my sister because you know my family owns the restaurants and my sister-in-law called and said hey you don't have to work so i have a babysitter awesome. so i have a babysitter and i don't have to work so i'm gonna just relax for a little while take a walk hang out with the kids a little bit and then go to dinner myself <laughs> okay why are you gonna go to dinner all by yourself or are you gonna take the wife? She's working. Oh, of course she's working. Tell her I said hello. I wish I was there to help you celebrate. Um the 31 to the 50 card was the veil. What moving removing the veil, like there's a veil there. Look behind the veil. Is that is it is it illusion? Is it reality? Is there something that you might want to change your perception on? I mean, you would know if you pull the veil back. Yeah, that's real. Okay. But it's just like beyond the veil. So that we was a card for you to think about. And, oh, you know what? Hang on a minute. We watched the movie Soul last night. Really? Okay. Because it's Daniel's birthday, I'm going to pull a card from my Queen of the Moon my queen of the moon oracle let's see this is for daniel's birthday let's see what we got for him for his birthday y'all i noticed that your dad's birthday was yesterday right yep. i was his best birthday yeah. gift ever he said <laughs> um his dad has come i don't know two three times i think he's more shown more. up and i'm giving him four times he's come through me. more than I mean, that i feel like a freaking more than that, I think I freaking know the dude. I do. I I, I know him. Um, all right. So, oh, it's the bottom card. Ooh, you're gonna love this. Um, this is called the Beaver Moon. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but creation. So this phase, this birthday, this new cycle that you're coming through is all about the creation. Now, see, she's got the plans right there. Okay? Yeah, that's kind of cool. And if you, this card tells me that's her, you know, and, and her peeps, her spiritual team. And so in the middle, you know how they channel stuff to us all the time? Oh, wow, where did that come from? That's from your spiritual team to you. Okay. So this is the year. I mean, your new book's coming out. I know you have, uh, yeah, Margie said he is deep in the creative process with the book. Uh, yes, there's other projects going on. And so trust, I think what I'm getting more about that is trust that creative process. Even though, yeah, I, I know I'm here. Okay. It's like, <laughs> it's not this. It's not this. It's like, you might. I don't know. I didn't know that I was going to get a message. But anyway, so I'm going to give what I'm hearing. So this is about like you feel like sometimes like something stopped. 
something's like, why, why is that stopped or not? It's not the word stuck. Something's kind of like stopped, but that's because there are still other um, items to add. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Showing me a treasure chest. There are other things that have to be added to that treasure chest for those projects to them hand gestures his dad showed up i bet he is here i want to ask you something really quick do you, do you know what chuck stop please chuck. stop i who's chuck <laughs> what come on you're not just i mean i know you but you that just that name just came to you yeah all right. Well, first of all, four years ago, well, five years ago, before I even believed in any of this stuff, I was in the shower and I felt this like person around me. Now, this is before I believed. This is when I was a hardcore Christian. Like, you can't talk to the dead. Like, don't believe in this stuff. And I was in the shower and I was like, who are you? And I just felt someone and they and I got the name. I got the name Chuck. So I went to a media. Well, this is this is just the beginning. I went to a medium and about halfway through the thing, she's like, who's Chuck? And I was like, I, I started like crying. Well, you know, this is no, listen, this gets even crazier. So I said, um, well, that's kind of weird. I told her the story about the shower and she's like, I said, I think it's like some kind of angel. Like, and now I know it's a spirit guide. And she said, trust that. And I said, okay, so my, that's my number one spirit guide. Number two, that's number one. Number two, I got a text message today about an hour ago from someone named Chuck who happens to be the main person on the project I'm working on, which you just mentioned with the plans. And he sent me a video that we're working on that came out really nicely. And so, and when you gave the message earlier about like things need to be put together, like a little bit more, he's the person who's putting this stuff together. Wow, that's that treasure chest. They want and that I don't I don't know why I was shown the treasure chest, but it was like there's more things that have to be added to that for this. And game. what and and what he sent me was an addition to what I already have. I think he even no used that way. word. I think he even used that word. I'll send you the I'll send you the screenshot. You can't make this shit up. You can't, dude. That's crazy. I'd like <laughs> If I didn't know you, I would think that you'd went on my, but I don't even have that anywhere on my, well, I, do I have it in my book? I do have it in my first book, I think, but. No, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah, that's crazy. I, that's not um, only my spirit guide, but my main guy on the project I'm working on, who just texted me about an hour ago with a new piece of the project. So you're this is like a validation okay and, and let me ask you this what is the number nine what's well, how old my son is okay because i heard the number nine and my birthday is is obviously a nine so is my dad and my son so we all our birthdays are all this month but my son's nine why am i hearing the champ the champ well I, my son who's nine i mean he he's been playing he just made a he made a travel baseball team, like a big, big boy team. Oh, did he? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I was just, it was just like the chat. Ooh. Do you have your dad's ring? I don't, I might, I don't, I don't like have it with me. It might be in his box of things, but he did. Was have it, I, I want to say this. Was it kind of gaudy? Yeah. Yeah. My dad had gaudy shit. <laughs> I mean, Okay, just something about Gotti. Um, do you let me know? I, it's almost like I see something yellow with it. Like I don't. What What is the birthstone? What did you, What is your birthstone? Sapphire. Do you know, sapphire. No, this was like a yellowish kind of. Um, I don't know a yellowish kind of. I don't know what that's about. Something about you might be looking through something and go, "Oh wow, the ring, the ring." And I don't even know why that would happen. Um, Okay, I'll tell them. So <laughs> citrine, maybe it is citrine. Don't. Did he used to point when he would talk to you? Did he used to use his finger and point? <laughs> oh, my God. I got to get a copy of this. So 
when we, when in fact, my best friend and one of my other friends, my dad went to Pizza Hut one time and my dad stood in the middle of the restaurant and pointed at some like lady. And I'm like, dad, you can't point like that. And my, and like, I don't know, maybe a few months ago, my buddy, my best friend, he goes, dude, remember when your dad like pointed at that lady right in the middle of the restaurant? So yeah, he had no, my dad had no, like, um, he had no filter and he had, no one ever really taught him common sense, like, like, like proper etiquette. Um, Deanna says, I think his dad is a Navy veteran. Was your dad in the Navy? My stepfather was in the Navy. Oh, stepfather. Okay. Um, now he's, would your dad have been the type to say, I'm not going to take a back seat to nobody. Oh, a haunt, like I'm, I just got goosebumps when you said that. So first of all, I got to tell you something. I'm enjoying every second of this. And normally I'd say like, oh my gosh, you know, like bring someone else on. But like, it's my birthday. And I feel like my dad, his birthday was yesterday. And like, I don't, you know, I'm not, a very, I'm not selfish at all, but I'm no. like enjoying, but I'm enjoying this. So just please keep going is, if you can. No, um, this yes, is a reason. My dad, so he's talking about, I'll never take a back seat. And he goes, I raised you the same way. Yeah, I mean, no that, matter. Somebody may try to put you in the back seat of something. He's like, no, no. So I yes. read. Oh, I, that gave me chills. Yes, I don't take a back seat. You don't take a back seat. Yeah, his nickname was Johnny Rebel. Wow. Yeah, and okay. and and I was just thinking last night when I was watching Soul, like I'm kind of a pushover a little bit. Like I I don't like comp. I don't. I just. I don't know. I, there's a confidence and I, oh, 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 I was meditating then. Okay. Last night. And one of my, one of my things like the soul little patch in the movie soul is, is like, like confidence in a, and respect and a respect a respectful way. Like, you know, sometimes I think like, Oh, someone has this more, this more that like it's to recognize that I'm, you know, put together and that I need to have that confidence kind of piece. Right. Now, what I'm going to do my best, I'll download this and I'll try to just save this section for you. I'll figure it out. I'm sure your dad will help. Why is he showing me a kite? Well, I don't I don't know why, but that came through in my first session ever. Uh, and I think what he meant when that came through in my very first session was to go with the flow. Go with the wind. Let the uh, let the okay. let the wind right. and the universe guide you. Oh, because it's it's near the ocean. Because there's sand and there's the ocean. And so that's where that is. And that's why you, that's what he was showing me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm not, he's showing, uh, looks like a basketball. I don't know for sure. Was he big in, in, in the basketball games or were you big in the basketball? It's either a basketball or it's like a soccer ball. I, I'm not real sure. Well, I'm not in the basketball, but. You know, we were playing basketball last night. We have a basketball hoop in the driveway. And my son, who, like, is, like, I think my dad reincarnated, um, he he was given a basketball uh, with Charles Barkley. Oh, with Charles, with Chuck, Charles Barkley's, uh, you know, signature on it. Oh, wow. When was that? When he was born, like five years ago. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I think there's two twofold to that. I think the basketball was about, that was his birthday, and you guys were out there. Now, I want to ask you something really quick. Um, now, something about Stella. Stella's pretty um, open yeah, from what she's he's my, showing me. Yeah, she's the intuitive one. So it's like Stella sees me, and I don't even know what that is. Did she ever say something about being, he goes, Stella sees me. What is that? She doesn't want to talk about it. Every time I talk to her, I said, have you ever seen, you ever seen a, a spirit? And she just like, she'll bury her head in my, in my, you know, chest. She doesn't want to talk about it. So I'm sure she's seen she's, them. Yeah. And it's like, there's, there's this grandpa, granddaughter thing. Okay. So. Well, when he like, was, when, when he died about, a, about a month before he died, my wife was pregnant with her and he, I remember he was upset because he was never going to get to meet her. And back then I didn't, you know, really believe in all this stuff. So I wasn't like, yeah, you'll meet her dad. You'll just be meeting her from over there. But, you know, I didn't know what to say back then, you know. Now, he's showing me a set of crutches. <laughs> any any feeling behind that? And I'll tell you in a minute. Um, the, the feeling is, I, I could be wrong. The feeling is you don't need them. 
That's the so, feeling I was getting. That was my nickname in high school. No way. Yeah. I had, I Crutches? broke my ankle. Yeah, that was my nickname because I broke my ankle and I, um, I was on crutches for my junior and senior year. Wow. Yeah. But that was the phrase of, you don't need those. But see, there's a two part to this, I think. One of it is a validation, but the other one is you don't need crutches because you're standing on your own. You don't need that. So do, okay. would you understand that two part to that message? I mean, yeah, probably symbolic. Like, you know, I, I've worked right. hard at raising yes. my vibration, choosing love and, be, you know, quitting gambling and quitting watching porn and quitting smoke, you know, drinking. And I quit all that. Shit. I mean, I don't do any, yeah. I don't really have many vices that's, anymore. So, yeah, that's, I think that's very, very symbolic. Um, is there, okay. Do you like carrot cake? Um, not particularly. I don't, I don't know what kind of, oh, I wonder if it's spice. I can't tell if it's like, it's not chocolate. It's not vanilla. It's, it's something different. So I don't know if that would have been, um, something he would have liked, but it almost, it, and it's got white frosting and it almost looks like carrot cake or a spice. Do you, I don't know who that belongs to, if it's not for you. Um, no, my, I mean, my I dad did. liked his favorite color was orange and, um, you know, my mom used to make a really good carrot cake, but you know, I haven't had it in a oh. long time. Okay. Well, and that might be something that he's, because the carrot cake seems to be important. Not that you're going to, if somebody gives you a carrot cake for your I will birthday, tell you. Yeah, uh, yeah, that'll be funny. I mean, I don't know. Where, where are you going to dinner? Well, we no, don't tell us all because we'll all show up. We don't yeah, really right. want to know where you, uh, know. we'll all show up. So, um, yeah, true. I mean, this is pretty, this is a, I know I'm going to tell him that. So I don't even know that you fully comprehend and he's not tr trying to be egotistical, but he's like, you don't even comprehend how big of a deal you are, like what you're doing. You don't comprehend how big of a deal this is because he's pointing all different directions. Did, did he always use his hands when he oh, talked? Yeah, and, and he pointed a lot. That was like a joke. He it was a pointer. Well, who was it? Margie? Somebody's like, oh, my God, his dad's coming to because I started doing this at the beginning. And so it's like you you don't even you don't even have a true, real concept about what's going on here. OK, he does. He does. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. We already know that the Ferris wheel is a big deal to you because you get those. Are, are you near a Ferris wheel? Do you live near a Ferris wheel? Not really. It's I on the cover of my. Get it's on the cover of my new book. Mm, I think you're gonna somehow. I think you're, I. You know how I love it because you get license plates and messages. I think you're gonna get another Ferris wheel somewhere. I, that's what's being shown to me. Because um, I already know Ferris wheel is a big deal to you, but he showed it to me for a reason. So. You're either going to see something on a billboard or something that's going to happen. Okay. Well, did he show you? Did he show you the Ferris wheel as a follow up to that message about it's yeah. bigger than my? Yeah. Well, then, then yeah. yeah. I mean that that's what it's all about. You know that. Okay. Okay. That's true. But I, you know, you and I both know about the Ferris wheel, so I wanted to not say, oh, we all know what that is. But yeah, but, but as still, a follow -up. don't be. Okay, it's a follow up to that message, but don't be surprised if you end up getting some other like, oh, look at that, or some some semi might go along, and you'll see if they're, I don't know what that is. Just keep open, and that I see it. I see it everywhere. Sorry to interrupt you, and it was in the it was even in the movie Soul. I saw it. It's in the movie, so it's like I see wow. him everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I see him everywhere. Um, he he's showing me. A red rose. So unless you know somebody that's got the name Rose and it's a single red rose. Is he is he cremated or buried? Cremated. And he's not buried at a vault somewhere. Mm -mm. Okay. I don't know. There's something about I don't know the the red rose, and then I it, it might have something to do with his. Is he in an urn? Yeah, oh yeah. 
Is there any flower near that urn? No. Okay. Pay attention to the red rose. I don't know what that's about. Okay. I, I think I have be, a, Go ahead. I think I have a feeling, but I don't want to put it in your mouth. What do you, what's okay. your feeling behind it? I, I, I'm not really sure, but um, the feeling that I get is I get a feeling of regalness. I don't, I don't know why. Um, what does that regalness. mean? Regal, royal, you know, like a queen would be regal. Someone would give her a beautiful rose and it's like regal and standing. Um, I don't even know that that's. Oh, that, I know that what it rose. is. I know what it okay, is. Okay. You know what? It, okay. Yeah. Do you understand that? Okay. So you don't my, have to share. Well, I want to, I'll tell you because you'll pick up what I'm saying. But my buddy was on The Bachelorette. And pretty much, you know, that. You know, with my with the project I'm working on, I think he's making me feel like, you know, that's going to work out. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. You know that how, makes sense. And not only okay. that, not only that, his the guy's my friend who was on The Bachelorette. His name was Dick, and my dad always used to call me Dick. He'd be like, "Hey, what are you doing, Dick?" <laughs> oh my God. So, okay. Yeah, so, so maybe. You, all right. So that was so, a message for me. Yeah. I didn't have that feeling, but when you say regal, that makes complete sense. I mean, exactly that that came to me immediately. And thank you guys for being patient here. We were basically done with the live, and then Daniel shows up. So now we know right. why his dad. No, no, we were just chatting and sh sharing cards. So, um, hi. Did your did your dad like shellfish? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe I'm, I have no idea. Actually, is that bad? <laughs> No, I mean, I don't know. I'm just seeing a plate full of, you know, shrimp and crab and all of that. I don't know what that's about, but is that, who is that? Seven. Dog. Um, so just, just pay attention to that. I mean, are you a seafood eater? Not at all. No, I don't like seafood. Then I don't know what that's about. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Is that, is, that a, is he giving me that too? Yeah. I think, I think that's what. I, I don't know what that what, what's your feeling behind that. I'll see if that makes sense. Um, you know, it, it's a mixture of everything. So there's, you know, there's crab legs and there's seafood. I mean, shrimp and you know, like this lobster and stuff all on a plate. And so it's like everything at once on a plate. Well, he used to talk about how big the when we got married, they had like really big shrimp at our um, at our wedding. But I'm I'm pretty sure in the movie. With Will Smith, he had shellfish, which is why he got that allergic reaction. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where that's where he's going anyway, with it. Well, I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. I don't know what that's. I don't know what that's about. Uh, but it could be another symbolic thing. Everything served on one plate. You get that? Because uh, there's everything. A variety. Yes. Yes. Okay. And you know, to me, crab legs are very expensive type of thing, but. Uh, it's my favorite. And so it's like you're going to get a variety of all the good stuff, if that makes sense. Why he would use shellfish, I don't know. Maybe because he knows I love all of that stuff. Um, let me see if he has anything else to say. Did he used to say Roger Dodger? No, I had an Uncle Roger by my mom's side. Is there anything about the Dodgers? Who's the Dodgers? Well, you know, we were in L.A. working on our project. I heard Roger Dodger, so I heard both. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe it's an L.A. thing, like L.A. Dodgers. I don't know. There's no Roger be. besides my uncle on my and Roger, Roger is, you know, Roger that, Roger that. That's what so I was thinking. Yes. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, he's come through so many times that maybe he's just like, I'm going to do, I'm going to change things up a little bit. I'm just going to, whatever. Okay. So do you have anyone named um, Rusty? R Rusty, yeah, Dusty? My, my, well, my dad had a friend named Rusty who he was like his car buddy. Okay. Is Rusty still alive? My gosh, I have no idea. They were friends like... Okay. 30, 40 years ago, literally. I was like five. I just remember his name. Okay. He, he was just saying something about the word rusty. So, you know, it was just another little thing. I mean, whenever he comes through and he gives you information, you already know it's him. You already know 
okay. I think I think I know where he's going with that. Oh, I know where he's going with that. Okay. Remember, remember in the movie Cars, and oh, by the way, I said that that was his car, buddy. Well, in the movie Cars, the guy's advertising, like when he won the, you know, the championship, Rusty's was his, like, his promo. So he, like, he would, like, get advertising. So I know where he's going with it. Remember, remember okay, how, like, that, you, we, yeah. I went back. Remember, I said the word champ earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, maybe it's and the whole thing just, with the. Okay. The Ferris wheel, okay. L.A., like, you know. Okay. All right. So you, all right. Now you understand. Thank you guys for being patient. And mods, thank you for being there and helping. Um, okay. So he he's showing, just like the 4th of July. He said, just like the 4th of July. Okay. Yeah. Fireworks, all of that. Now, this is what he's showing me, so I'm going to give it. So he says, just like the 4th of July, there's fireworks, and then somebody just crossed the finish line with the fireworks all around. So I think that's a beautiful, that's a validation for you, okay? Just like the 4th of July. So I don't know if he has a connection to the 4th of July. Um, not really sure, but anyway. The fireworks are all around, and then somebody's crossing crossing the finish line. So, well, the, I think so that's about your. The, the guy that talked about the Ferris wheel the very first time before you brought it up, like five years ago, like he is a um, he's a what do you call him? Muscle man. He did he you know so he muscle. does the yeah where you have to run for like. 20 miles oh, okay swim. you know what so interesting i think symbolically all of this you know you'll have to rewatch this i'll do my i am going to download this as long as there's no technical issues and I'll, I'll i'll upload the whole thing to youtube but i'll try to cut this section for you i just think there's a lot of validation for your project yeah he he's okay. he's, he's, right, he's a man. right okay and he was the one that first talked about this whole thing okay and we're working okay. on did your dad used to chuckle under his breath all the time well i think i know he used to go he used to go like this he used to go and pretend like somebody was farting and he got yeah oh he would do that all something with his mouth and he's yeah, starting like, to laugh and i go i don't know what's so funny but he's like doing and his mouth is like yeah. Are you chuckling underneath you? Okay, you got. It. Yeah, huh. he would do it all the time. Okay. My friends, he go. Huh. That's funny. That's he's, funny. He's a funny. Um, okay. Um. Do Do you know why he would be giving me the number fifty seven? Well, I mean, the fifty seven Chevy is like you know we used to go to car shows all together uh, together. Um, okay. that's the only thing I could think with 57, he never, um, he never had a 57 Chevy, but he loved classic cars. He loved old cars. Okay. Okay. That might be another thing that he's just saying. And so I think he's extremely proud of himself. Like when I came on here, it's so funny that you came on right when, you know, we finished the mediumship, we finished the collective cards and then I go, Oh my God, he hasn't been in my live in forever. And then you pop in. And so I think your dad was like, we're going to wait. Till Pam's done doing her other stuff, Daniel will pop in and he gets a special birthday message. And I think that's, inc I think it's incredible because the first time your dad came through was on my Instagram and it was on my birthday. I remember oh, that. Oh, wow. Specifically. Is you, yours in fact, January 24th? Vicky, January 24th. Yeah, that's what I said. Wow, I remember your birthday. That's crazy. Yeah. And Ziggy just came in. What's funny is it was my birthday. I was snowed in. I decided to spend the day giving sessions. You and Ziggy, both your dads came through in that Instagram. Wow. Hi, Ziggy. On my birthday. So wow. here he is. Ziggy just pops in. You can't make this shit up. But y'all, um, make sure that you're saying happy birthday to Daniel. Um, you know, he's been traveling with his new job. Well, it's kind of like an old job and you kind of went back. But anyway, 
So it's his birthday. His book, make sure you're following him because his book's going to be coming out. Uh, what date is your book coming out? October 3rd. We're going to wait for Mercury to get out of retrograde and then we're going to launch it. So October, October 3rd is the big day. We're going to do like a big live. We're going to give away some copies. We're going to uh, show the cover and everything and, and, and all in one day, October 3rd. I am so freaking excited today because, I mean, how many people get Thank a message on their birthday? I mean, I'm, I you know, very, your dad had blessed. this all planned. Your dad had this all planned. You know, yeah, the pointing and, and so and the fireworks and the pot of gold and the rusty and the chuck. I mean, come on, you can't, you can't, can't make this shit up. So why I I'm gonna let Daniel go because I know he's got plans for today and he's with the kids and he's got things to do and I am going to to do my very best. Uh, Margie will probably even help me. I want to get this section. You know, maybe I can download and then save this section for you for your birthday. And that way you've got it. Um, so. OK, there's like a quick little final message. Like. Did your dad used to did they, did, did they used to say something about don't be so cranky? Was he cranky? Oh, yeah, my dad was cranky. Absolutely. Cranky. He's like, um. So I, maybe it's just a little final thing, like it might be a twofold, like don't be cranky. And he's he's got the finger. Don't be cranky. Yeah, I can. He, I he, I have a little bit of I that. Don't know um, I mean, I'm most I'm happy most of the time, but I do get I do get kind of like I get I'm impatient and I and I try to like be patient and I get that like feeling in my stomach and I'm like, OK, you're becoming I like yelled this morning, which I normally don't do. Cause I'm very calculated and I meditate and stuff, but like it's got me really upset. So, so yeah, maybe, uh, maybe just sometimes I can be actually and as much thing, as I don't want to. Don't be cranky. Don't be cranky. Okay. Daniel, and also, that is awesome, yeah. y'all. Oh, Daniel, well, stay you. on because I'm going to pull the final collective for all of us. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the dreamer's journey right here. This is a final collective for all of us. This is the 17th. This is a Saturday. So <clears throat> this is something, whatever this message is, we can focus on for the weekend. How about that? So, yeah, all these happy birthdays to Daniel. Make sure you guys are following him. If you're not, uh, follow me. If you're not, I mean, heck, you know, may as well follow both of us. All right. All right. So here's our final collective. I love it. Once again, blue. Oh, I better. Sorry, guys. We got to cover up or we'll get. Anyway, it says strength, courage and fortitude, compassion and growth. Uh, so Philippians 413 is a good verse to go with that. And there's 73.3 okay. likes, which is my symbol for my dad. Wow. There we go, y'all. Look at that. I had to cover her up because, you know, she's half naked, whatever. I mean, who? Um, so that is the final. And, and what was that? What was that Bible verse again, Daniel? Philippians 4, 13. Okay. Okay. That is perfect. Um, that is so awesome. I, you just made my whole day. Your dad you just made my whole day. I mean, we had some beautiful messages earlier. That is true. I'm very uh, pleased that Roger and PNW's, um, you know, lady came through. But um, this was always like, I don't know, maybe your dad and I, we must know each other because it's been, this is what, number five time he's come through? At least, Pam. Wow. This is so incredible. I'm going to do the best I can. It may take me a few days because lately it's been taking me three days to even download from here. Really? Okay. So y'all, y'all, all of comes my out of final wave, all of my uh, colleagues who have popped in, give a final wave. Uh, there's Daniel and his kids. Here to me. It is his birthday. He got a beautiful message from his dad. I'm so excited. Say hi, everybody. Give a wave, kids. Give a wave. So, y'all, I'm going to end my live with something I've been trying to do lately is 
not okay. only be kind to okay. others, be kind to yourself. No, I don't have any backup accounts. I don't have any other accounts. This is my only account, okay? None of us have backup accounts here. Okay? I'm just going oh, and be very vigilant. So I am going to say goodbye. I've been on here for almost two hours. Can you imagine? I love you, Daniel. Mods, thank Thanks, you. Ma thank you. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs>